Splash Peeps. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration video. I love to do them. Um, every time the time rolls around for us to do a collab uh, video, I get super excited and also very conflicted. <laughs> I have so many problems, you guys, picking polishes because I really could include like 100 polishes. <laughs> in each collab video um so it's very challenging for me to make decisions on you know what polishes in my case i would like to wear in the summertime um well summer being this collab video spring being the last collab video we did um i feel like i did pretty good wearing um like spring polishes that i had on my spring rack i want to say i probably got through maybe like half of the polishes on my spring rack which is crazy because I don't know how I did it I just like set my mind to it and I was like okay Ebony you're gonna wear these polishes um I don't know how successful I will be in the summertime we shall see everything is crazy right now so who knows um but my strategy for choosing polishes for our summer phase was to first create my spring rack which I have created below but I turned it so you guys can't see it because that's another video um and then I pulled polishes from my summer rack to include in this video and also some polishes that I've already worn um I have talked to you guys about this before I have purchased so many polishes over the past year actually probably less than the past year um that the majority of my collection or I would say over half of my collection are untried polishes. So that being said, in this video, we're going to feature polishes that I would like to wear for summer. Some of my favorite um, types of finishes, um, basically what I gravitate towards for summer, um, polishes that I would pull for summer. Um, and then also we'll, um, in this first part of the video, I'm just going to talk about some polishes that I've worn or that I wore last summer that I remember. And um, then we'll flip the camera and what I'm going to do for you guys is swatch polishes that I'm planning to wear during the summer. Um, so super excited to share with you guys my summer faves. Um, and also check out all the other ladies. I'll link them all below. Um, so you guys can go and check out their videos as well. This is always just really fun for us. It kind of gets us out of what we normally do um, as far as YouTubing and our content to focus on something that we can do collaboratively. So it's really cool, really fun for us. Um, and so I'm going to start off by talking about some of the polishes that I have worn. One of them, you guys... I try not to include this polish, but it's like my all-time favorite. Every time I try to leave it out, I end up throwing it right back in. <laughs> and I've talked about it so many times that I feel like if there's anybody watching this video who has not heard me talk about this polish and you don't realize how great it is, I feel like I need to put it out there again and again and again. Um, and I do believe that it is a um, permanent addition on the tonic website this is a tonic polish and so if you don't have it you can still go and pick it up i think it is permanent i may want to double check on that when i edit but i think it has been made a permanent addition and i just love this polish so much you guys i don't even know how many times i've mentioned it but i'm going to mention it again this is light of lyra it's one of my all-time favorite polishes i probably will not mention it in my fall or winter I can't even promise I won't mention it. <laughs> won't mention it in winter. Um, winter faves because it's just a, such a good polish, you guys. I have mentioned it in, I did, I believe, mention it in my spring faves. If I didn't do it, I've mentioned it in other videos before, um, just how amazing this polish is. It is this, like, it's purple, but it's got this, like, amazing blue shimmer. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a turquoise shimmer. I don't know what my lighting is doing right now, you guys. It's not wanting to focus, but it is just so pretty. I'll insert my swatch pics of this one so you can see what this one looks on the nails. Um, one of the things I gravitate towards, actually in spring, more so in summer, is a polish that just like has that shimmer. Like, 
you're wearing the polish and people across the room can see it or you're wearing that polish and you're standing like on the other side of the yard and your nails are just like <laughs> glowing i don't know why that's what i gravitate towards for summer this polish does that for me um and also it's purple y'all know purple is my jam so light of lyra if you don't have it pick it up um another thing that i gravitate towards is polishes with a lot of flakies Again, it's all about that extra bling during the summer. I don't know. Maybe it's because, well, I live in Louisiana, so the weather's crazy. We get a lot of rain and tornadoes and then more rain. Um, but there's also a lot of humidity and heat, just heat. So um, I don't know what it is about the weather here in Louisiana that makes me want to wear sparkly things on my nails during the summer, but I do. So I gravitate towards... Polishes with a lot of flakies, and again, if it has a little bit of extra shimmer where you can see it from across the room, I'm all about that. So this is, and I don't know exactly if I'm pronouncing this right, so there, it's either Kelpie or Kelpie. I don't know. Numerous swatchers and YouTubers and nail polish lovers of all kinds have talked about this polish. Amazing formula. It's just flaky goodness. It's also a lot of polish that I feel like a lot of people wear during winter time or Christmas time because it's green <laughs> but it's also I don't know if you guys can see that blue shimmer going on in there and it just pops off the nails I have worn this one it was beautiful I love this formula it's just all things wonderful in a glitter flaky it's not even glitter flaky balm um green polish so um again that's kelpie or kelpie <laughs> I want to say it's Kelpie. I think I've heard other people call it Kelpie. So we're going to say it's Kelpie and it's gorgeous. And, um, I would totally wear this during the summertime. Um, another one that I have worn during the summertime and this one and another one from tonic. Um, and I could not find that one cause I wanted to include that one too. I'm kind of glad I couldn't find it cause that would have been too many. Um, but this is passion fruit and I actually saw this watch recently you guys, funny story. I saw this watch recently on my friend, um, who was it? On Instagram. Oh, Amy Sue had this polish on and I was like, Ooh girl, that's beautiful polish. I wonder if I have it. Not only do I have it, but I have worn it and it is gorgeous and amazing. And when I went back, I was like, Hey, by the way, <laughs> anyway, this is passion fruit. It is a like corally, orangey with like a pink shimmer you guys can see that there it is so gorgeous on the nail shot it just pops it's beautiful amazing formula two to three coats to be opaque it just glides on smooth buttery really love this one for summertime and i really like i said gravitate towards these shades with like a little bit of you can see it pop in there you can see this from across the room <laughs> um and that's why i love it so this is passion fruit there's a couple of other ones that came out with this one in this collection um sunburn i want to say some kind of burn very burn i don't know some kind of burn anyway it came out with this collection i wore that one too if i can remember to put the swatch picture of that one in there i will too it also has a, another gorgeous shimmer um i also wore this one last summer or springtime i can't remember this is orally can i have bacon in a while No. Okay, just ask. Anyway, like I was saying, um, this is Orly Skinny Dip. Y'all, this is a beautiful blue, blue polish. It has like a, um, I don't know what kind of shimmer this is. I, maybe turquoise? It looks kind of turquoise. I don't know. Anyway, it pops off the nails. It's a very beautiful blue polish. And as I was collecting polishes for this uh, video that was one of my problems was finding blues to include in this in this video because a lot of people gravitate towards neon polishes during the summer and neon blue just isn't really a thing um I mean you can get kind of close to it I guess I don't know but this is probably as close as I would say in my collection I have to a neon blue it's really pretty and actually now that I'm looking at that shimmer it's more like a pinky purple shimmer it's really pretty I'll insert the swatch. 
Um, this is one that I wore recently, but I will also wear this one in the summertime for sure. I did some really cute nail art on it for Joe Polish Talks uh, Pennant Challenge. It turned out really cute. This is Limey Bean. This was from last month's PPU. Really beautiful, really super, super bright neon lime green with some extra shimmery goodness going on in there. This one was really good. Really amazing formula. Um, if you have this one or anything like it, I would say wear it during the summer. It'll be perfect. Um, and it's, I don't know, it was just amazing. I loved it so much. Um, so those are just some of the polishes that I have worn. <laughs> there are others, but I'm not trying to make this video super long. It's already been 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to switch my camera. We're going to do a swatch wheel of colors that, um, or polishes that I plan on wearing this summer. And yeah, so hopefully you guys will join me for that. <laughs> That's what's coming up next. So give me just a second and I'll switch my camera. Okay. I'm back and I have a brand new, brand spanking new <laughs> nail wheel and um, let's get started because I actually have more polishes than I thought. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with my least favorite um, shade, I guess, of polishes and that is yellow. I had a really hard time pulling yellows because I just don't like yellow. Um, but this is Emily Damali. It's a limited edition 180 and I am actually looking forward to wearing this one, um, because it's yellow, but it's not just like super bright. It's not super muted. And I don't know if you guys can tell, maybe I need to zoom in just a little bit, but these flakies, they are like turquoise flakes. Like I want to say turquoise Maybe they're not flakes, micro glitters maybe, um, but they're just so pretty. And I actually hauled this one recently, um, but let's go ahead and swatch it on the swatch wheel so you guys can see what this one looks like. Um, and again, I don't like yellow, but for some reason, yellow happens to look really <laughs> good off with my skin tone. So I'm like, oh, I don't like yellow, but then I put it on and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that yellow. Um, but I think this one's going to look really nice on my skin tone and will, um, will be really pretty to wear in summer. And as you guys can see, it is an amazing formula. Um, so again, that's Emily Damali, limited edition 180. And this one, um is one that I just got recently. I actually have not hauled this one yet, so you guys will probably see this one again in a future haul, but this is Cheerful from Night Owl Lacquer, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like this gorgeous, um, like pink, I don't know, you can kind of see it a little bit up here at the top, but it's like a pink shimmer. So pretty. I've seen this one swatched, um, several other people have swatched, and I actually was not going to get this collection, but I couldn't help it and I went back and got the whole collection. <laughs> this one's actually also a lot brighter than it's showing up in the viewfinder, but I don't know if you guys can tell how much brighter it is than the one I just swatched and believe it or not, these are both yellows. <laughs> this one actually up against this one does not look like a yellow now, but they are both yellows. And this one, oh, I missed this side, is um, super bright, but it also has this like amazing shimmer that um, is really speaking to me for summer. You guys will have to ignore my child in the background. She's playing with the dog. I didn't swatch that too perfectly, but I'm going to go back and put a second coat on these and then show you guys what that looks like. So that is Cheerful um, Night Owl Lacquer. Um, let's go to oranges. So also, y'all, I'm going to let y'all know ahead of time. I have not hauled a bunch of these and it was taking everything within me to pull them for this video, even though I haven't hauled them, but this is Surfer Dude. <laughs> so again, you'll probably see these in a future video. Super bright neon orange. Um, I don't have any other description for it other than it's orange. It is 
maybe just a teeny tiny bit corally um but y'all it's just gliding on so buttery i love orly's brushes by the way they are just like the perfect um shape for my nail bed um and this orange is really smooth really bright perfect for summer um, and it was in the Orly's recent collection. I don't remember what collection it was, a recent summer collection. I actually picked up several of those. Another one um, is coming up in this video, actually, and that is Surfer Dude. Another one that I picked up recently, I got this one on Amazon. My friend Krista suggested I get this one. This is Foxy Mama Color Club. It has this gorgeous yellow shimmer going on in there. Y'all, this one... Oh my gosh, this one just glows off the nails. It's just super glowy, super bright, um, perfect for summer, and I am looking forward to wearing this one so much. She has actually already worn this one. My friend Krista has worn this one. It looked amazing on her, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this one. I'm not really digging these little tiny brushes, <laughs> but look how amazing that is. This formula is really good, too. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer in there. That is a gorgeous shimmer. Really pretty. That one's going to look amazing. Um, and if you guys like this one, you can get it on Amazon. Foxy Mama. Um, and I'll put a second coat on so you guys can see what that looks like. This one is just really glowy. If you guys can't tell so far already, I'm just really enjoying glowy polishes <laughs> for summer or wanting to say I should say wanting to wear glowy polishes for summer so um also the other thing I'm gravitating towards is pinks this one is what is this called swift and um I don't think you guys can grasp how bright this is but it is insanely bright I mean it is just super neon and this one is la colors so if you guys like this one it's easy to find in pretty much probably any drugstore um and look at that brush it's more of a jelly formula which i really enjoy as well um i feel like i can do all kinds of things with the jelly formula and i really enjoy that type of formula um, and also this is a really good formula um, that type of finish for actually I'm not even gonna say summer because it's pretty much any occasion <laughs> I just really I really love a lot like jelly um, or curly fin uh, polishes because you can do so much like you can do jelly sandwiches you can do all kinds of nail art they're just very versatile and I really enjoy that um, the other one that I pulled is this one I've been wanting to wear for a while. This one is Flirt. Again, it's it's not neon pink. It's just like your basic bubblegum pink. But I think it'll be perfect for summer. Um, I'm going to shake it up a little bit because it's kind of subtle in there at the top. I think it'll be perfect for summer because um, of these glitters in here. And I'm, I'm actually proud of myself for not picking all glitter or flaky polishes because as you guys know I love the bling but I did try to pull some creams for you guys so you guys can see I can be versatile when I need to be <laughs> this one is another amazing formula and those glitters are so pretty I'm all about those glitters you can kind of see them pop in there kind of holographic they're really pretty so that one's going to be excellent, I think, for um, for summer. And I think you can still get this one on the site, maybe. I'm pretty sure you can. I want to say you can. Um, so those are the two pinks that I pulled. I also pulled some, see, I think, I, I mean, I pulled some blues, but it was only because I couldn't make up my mind which one. So now I have three blues <laughs> instead of a... Uh, Instead of two, this is Zoya 
Mira Jane, and I actually recently hauled this one. I don't know if you didn't catch that one. Uh, this one hauled in the last video that I did, the last Zoya haul video I did. You're catching it now. <laughs> this one um, dries down to that satin matte finish, and I really love that, but it's also a um, jelly formula, so... I don't know if you got I guess you guys can see but this one's gonna be a three coater for sure but um, it's not super bright so um, I mean it is bright once you add all I would say three um, coats to this one but it's not neon -y. but I don't have any what I would consider neon blues <laughs> this is as close as I could come and I do like that it dries down to that satin finish um so it adds to the versati versatility that is a word versatility of polishes that i'm going to wear for the summer um to include some matte finishes as well um and then this one is zircon look y'all my hands are like I, I played around with some acetone i didn't play around with some acetone i used some acetone so just ignore my hand right there <laughs> but anyway this is zircon from cirque colors and um the reason i pulled this one is because of this these like amazing holographic and you guys can't see it it's not showing up on my camera but these glitters are just hollow-rific <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of the right word, but you guys can see it a little bit. They they are super hollow. So during summertime, I love to wear hollow or holographic polishes. Um, again, it just adds that bling factor. And um, so I pulled this one, number one, because I haven't worn it. And number two, because of that hollow goodness. And it is kind of a cross between blue and green. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, well, if you kind of compare it to the one I just watched, the Zoya I just watched. Hold on, I'll just show you guys in a second. Because um, they're both blues. But this one is a blue that leans kind of purple. And this one is a blue that leans kind of green. <laughs> but I would say this one's probably closer blue than it is um, green for sure. And this one, although I haven't swatched it all the way, you're going to see is more blue than it is right now. But... This one, again, amazing formula. Cirque does amazing formulas, but I just love the glittery hollow in this one. It's so pretty. So that one's probably going to be a two or three coater, but it's really pretty. This is another one that I bought recently. This is You Do Blue. I have seen amazing swatches of this one. Um, it's like a bluish, purplish... <laughs> It leans purple, I think, only because of that shimmer that you guys can see right there. It's like a pink shimmer. But on the nails, it's really kind of like a, just like a light blue. Um, and that shimmer just pops, you guys. I have seen this one swatched and fell in love and went straight to the store and got it. And it's all about that shimmer for me in this one. The blue is a really beautiful blue, and it's showing up purple in my blue finder. There, That's a little bit more accurate, but um, it's a really beautiful, like, light blue, but that shimmer pulls it just a tad purple, and I really love that shimmer. I don't know. I just love it. It just does something. <laughs> I don't know. And in the bottle, it's so pretty. And you guys are not getting all of that shimmer that I'm getting here in person, but it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So since we're talking about purples, I'll go ahead and swatch the two purples that I pulled. This is Rewrite, Re Rewrite the Stars. I did just recently haul this one. It's a really beautiful purple with pink uh, flakies and looks like matte um, purple, no, pink glitters. And this one, y'all, oh my gosh. Again, that Curly formula is amazing. Um, glam polish, just, they are like glitter, flaky professionals. <laughs> I don't even know what to describe them. Like, they just do these glitter flakies so well. And 
I don't know how they do it. It's just perfection. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But I think this one will be really pretty in the summertime. And I'm definitely looking forward to getting this one on my nails. Like, I don't even want to swatch it anymore because I don't want it to run out. <laughs> I know it's crazy it's crazy the way we think but it's a true story that's how we think this one I also got in a recent this is May's PPU skip to the sweet shop and I have been dying to wear this one um, I also recently did a video on this one for my PPU haul um, if you guys missed that one check it out but this one I think will also be perfect for um, the summertime. It's not super bright, but once you get all of those layers of flakies on there, it just pops, you guys. It's like popping glitter goodness. Look at that. Look how those flakies lay and they're just like bling, 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 bling. <laughs> oh my gosh, so pretty. I can't wait to wear that one. That's going to be really pretty for summer. Um, let's move on to my green category. I actually have, I don't know, these really, they're not all in the same category, but they're all greenish of a green shade. This is Kiwi Crush um, 90 Lacquer. I recently got this one, actually. Again, um, actually, I don't know if it's going to be in the next haul, but. Actually, I think I already hauled this one because it was in my drawer, not on my rack. But you guys know how I feel about these black shards in the Smoothie Bar collection from 9-0. And I'm not sure. I think I was completely out of frame there and I did not swatch that well. So let's try again. Um, amazing formula really hard to swatch because my lamp's in the way but uh I really love these shards and all of these smoothie bar collection polishes from 9-0 and this one is if you guys can imagine brighter than it is showing up on camera it's also greener than it is showing up on camera let me try adding a little bit I don't know that might have made a little bit of a difference but um yeah, this one I think is going to be amazing for summer. Again, amazing formula. And those black shards are just everything. I love them so much. I feel like I need all of the Smoothie Bar collection polishes. So, funny story. I've seen this one swatched by a lot of different people. I don't know where I got this one from. And as you guys can see, it needs shaking up a lot. This is in the Cabana. And I've seen a lot of you swatch this. And I thought to myself... I really wish I had that polish. That's a beautiful polish. I should pick that polish up. Randomly, I was going through um, my polishes for something. I can't remember what I was going through my polishes for. And I came across this polish. And I thought, are you serious? I've been wanting that polish for I don't know how long. And I believe it was given to me because it has been used. Um... But I'm going to take this opportunity to get it on my nails. Um, and this, I don't even know. I can't really, this isn't really, I mean, it looks green in the bottle. But as you guys can see next to Kiwi Crush, it looks blue. So I feel like it's like a light turquoise maybe. Um, but y'all, it's just really pretty. And I know you guys love this one because i've seen it many many times so glad i happened to run across it in my collection <laughs> um and it's not what probably you guys would be like oh that's a typical summer color but um it's really pretty i'm really looking forward to wearing this one um so again that is in the cabana and it actually looks like it has a pretty good formula too, so that's good. Um, I also pulled this one. I want to say I've worn this on one nail maybe, not as a full mani, but I want to wear it as a full mani. And this one is literally it's a neon with some yellow shimmer from Sinful Colors. 
I have a ton of untried simple colors, so I really want to try this one. Um, and you guys, the shimmer in this one is so gorgeous. So absolutely beautiful on the nails with this shimmer. And I don't know if you guys can see, but look at that shimmer. I'm hoping that it translates to the nail because that is amazing. I'm actually really looking forward to wearing that one and stamping on it. <laughs> you guys know I have to stamp on it. So that is literally simple colors. And then the last sort of neon greeny yellow polish is this one also from Orly's last summer collection. This is Thrill Seeker. You guys, a lot of you guys picked it up. Planning to get this on my nails for summer. Um, I wasn't much of a neon wear or neon polish buyer actually until recently and I've I believe I had, well, let me shake this one up a little bit. I believe I had mentioned that to you guys in the last video, like in my spring video. Maybe not spring video. It was one of the videos. Might have been a haul video that I did not previously feel like neons look good with my skin tone. And so my polish collection was totally void of neons until recently. And I feel like I have just gone neon crazy. Now I want to pick up all the neons. And I find myself wanting to pick them up. And knowing that I need, you know, I'm like, oh, I should be adding something else to my collection. And I'm like, no, give me all the neons. <laughs> and they look amazing on my skin tone. This one, super amazing formula. You guys are not seeing even half of the brightness of this one at all super bright um and it's also really opaque in that first coat for a neon which is surprising um because you guys know neons are notoriously notorious for needing a white undie and i don't think that this one will you guys can let me know if you pick this one up and you've worn it if it does need a white indie undie indie white undie um so i also um picked out two toppers this one is if i knew then what i know now it's really cute and i've had this one for a while and i really want to get it on my nails during um during summer but it's just like it's really cute with all these cute little glitters turquoise and blue and red and it's got some bar glitters in there some there's just all kinds of things going in here. Some triangle glitters and square matte glitters, white glitters, just all kinds of glittery goodness. Um, and so normally when I do my my racks, I normally throw in a couple of toppers just for a variety. And I picked this one to go on my rack for summer. And I think, y'all, this is so cute. And look how, I can't believe I haven't worn this yet. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I don't know what I'll wear this over. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But look how cute that is. It would actually go really cute over this um, in the cabana. So maybe I'll wear it like that. That's, that one's really cute. Um, so looking forward to wearing that one. And I don't know if I mentioned this is Dollish Polish. And I think I got this one in a clearance sale. I'm glad I picked that one up. I also got this one recently. And I recently hauled this one. Um, this is Blossoms. And as soon as I got this one, I was like, this is going to be perfect for summer. I got to include this in my summer rack or summer faves. Um, it's just got all kinds of, can I frame other one? cute like matte glitters in there with sight glitters thrown in there for you know added detail and it's got yellow and black and red and turquoise and white and it's just super cute i am so looking forward to wearing that one it's gonna be really cute and i already know it's gonna just pop off of a bunch of a bunch of different colors i mean that one's going to be super versatile. I can wear it over it a bunch. Not over it a bunch. I can wear it over a bunch of different colors. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, I'm going to zoom out. Oh, nope, that was in. 
so you guys can see the whole nail wheel and then I'm going to go back and put another coat on with top coat and then we'll go over all of them again so I'll be back in just a few minutes okay I'm back if you guys can hear my child's TV in the background, please ignore it. <laughs> if I tell her to turn it off, there will be some issues. You guys, the children all understand the struggle. Okay, so I have put a second coat on all of these and top coated all of them except for this one because that one dries to that satin finish. So we'll go through each one of them. This one here is... Um, limited edition 180 Emily Damali and I love the shade is my nail was still wet so I'm trying not to um, bump it but look how pretty that is with my skin tone and the next one on the nail wheel is Night Owl Lacquer Cheerful with that gorgeous shimmer. You guys can see it there a little bit. And that's how that one looks on the nail wheel. That one's going to be really fun with nail art and stamping. I cannot wait. That one's going to be really pretty. Um, the next one is Surfer Dude by Orly. Again, amazing formula, um, and you can't tell, but this one leans a little corally, um, but you guys might be able to tell the difference between this one and the one next to it. So this one is a little coral leaning, but look how pretty that is. And then the next one is Foxy Mama by Color Club, with that amazing shimmer. So pretty. I love this one so much, you guys. I'm really digging orange for spring and summer. And orange, like yellow, never used to be my jam, but I am loving orange right now for some reason. Look how pretty. And the next one is this amazing neon pink. Again, another color that for some reason I am really jamming with for spring and summer. I feel like my camera is a little bit out of focus. Um... But this one is Swift. I was going to say Twist. <laughs> Not even close, but sort of close. So that's Swift. And that one, again, amazing formula. Really beautiful. And I've seen this one swatched. It's really pretty. And this next one is Flirt. Again, with those holographic. You can kind of see them a little better there. Holographic glitters. And... This one's going to be pretty um, with those holographic glitters. So I'm really going to love wearing that one. I actually have been wanting this one for a while, so I'm really glad I finally scored it. Hope it's still on the side if you guys want that one because that one's really pretty. Um, this is Zoya's, I think it's Mira Jane. I don't know. Anyway. This is the only one that dries with that satin finish. See, there's a couple of other ones that dry dull, but um, not satin like this one. And I went ahead and threw a third coat on this one just so you guys could see what that real color of that one is. And that one's really pretty. It's actually showing up a lot darker than it is in person, but I still think it'll be, or I should say I can make it <laughs> summer appropriate. Um, and then the next one is Cirque Zircon, I think. And this one, I think, might need a third coat, but it's really pretty with those holographic glitters as well. Gorgeous. I love that one so much. And the next one is You Do Blue by Essie with that beautiful pink shimmer. Really pretty. That pink shimmer, oh my gosh. That pink shimmer is everything. I mean, everything. <laughs> you wouldn't think such a basic cream could just end up being like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> For lack of words. 
Um, the next one is Glam Polish, Rewrite the Stars, and all of those pink and shimmery uh, holographic flaky goodness. This one is going to be really pretty when I wear it in those flakies, y'all. So pretty. Really looking forward to that one. And this one as well. Skip to the Sweet Shop. Lollipop Posse. This one just shines, you guys. Look at that. Look how those flakies just pop. Love that one. And the next one is Kiwi Crush. Again, it's a lot brighter than it's showing up in my viewfinder, even though I did try to adjust my lights a little bit so you guys could get a little bit accurate picture of that color. But it's really, it's a lot brighter, minty green. Really pretty. And the next one, hold on, let me screw the top back on before I drop it, is this one in the cabana. And I really feel like this is like a warm tone turquoise because if you guys can see how it's up against those two greens next to it it's not it's not green <laughs> it's more blue with a touch of green but um again amazing formula um this is an older essie so it does have that little skinny brush which i didn't really enjoy or don't really enjoy but the color is gorgeous. The formula is pretty good. So I'm definitely looking forward to wearing that one. And this one as well. Y'all, this formula. Surprise. <laughs> Simple colors. Uh, literally. And again, like I said, I think I've worn this one on one nail. I think I did a Skittles Manny maybe last year. Um, and that shimmer is amazing. The formula is amazing. Just glides on. Really smooth, buttery. I'd probably do three coats of this one but look how pretty that green is and I don't like green at all but this one I don't know it's the shimmer it's got to be the shimmer you know I'm all about the shimmer and the bling thrill seeker no shimmer no bling just super bright neon goodness that is freaking amazing this one also dries down a little dull but I don't care Top coat it, you're good to go if you want that glossy look. And it's very buttery and the brush makes the application super easy. So that one's going to be really pretty. If I knew then what I know now, Dollish Polish. This one got even better with the second coat. Um, it's just really even application of those flakies. Of course this would be a topper, but look how cute that is. Um, and then lastly is Blossoms 9-0 Lacquer. I'm trying to go quickly because I didn't want this video to be 45 minutes, but it is. <laughs> so cute. I really love this one as well. The second coat just made the, and I think I bumped this one, but the second coat made these glitters just, oh man, that's just perfection. So cute. Cannot wait to wear that one for summer. So, I'm going to zoom out for you guys. I'll zoom back in again. <laughs> um, so you guys can see the full nail wheel. And that is it for my summer faves. Um, don't forget to check out all the other ladies participating in this collab. And it really is a lot of fun for us. Um, and it also gives you guys a chance to kind of think about what you want to be wearing this summer. So tell me um, in the comments below what you guys think of my picks. I'm always very interested to hear what you guys are um, thinking about wearing for the summer. And again, thank you guys for joining me. And I hope you guys um, will, again, just stay safe out there, um, stay positive, and hopefully things will start to look better <laughs> i know it's hard diverse your, like it's not diverse submerge yourself in polish because that is what i am doing and um hopefully you guys we can just keep building each other up it's never um never a good thing to tear each other down so 
That is my goal, to build each other up through polish. <laughs> and I hope you guys will do the same. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up and um, hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I put videos up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!